For this question, we were given a diagram related to circles and triangles, and there are various subsections, so let's just dive straight into part A. So we don't need to look at the diagram for part A, we're just showing cosine 75 degrees equals Q, then show that cosine 105 is minus Q. So cosine 105 degrees can be expressed as cosine 180 degrees minus 75 degrees. And using the formula in your formula booklet about the subtraction of two angles in cosines, we can write this as cosine 180 degrees times cosine 75 degrees minus sine 180 degrees sine 75 degrees. And we know that sine 180 is 0. Meanwhile, cosine 180 is negative 1. So this is just going to be negative cosine 75 degrees which is negative Q. Next up, show that angle BAD is 75 degrees. So using the information of triangle ADC, this is a isosceles triangle. So that means since these two angles are equal and this is 90, this is even, I mean equal angles of 45 degrees. And if you look at triangle BAC, we're given that BC is R, Meanwhile, AC is the diameter, so this is 2R. So this means that side AB is going to be 2R squared minus R squared, square root of that. So that's root 3R. So we have a 60, 30, 90 triangle. So triangle ABC is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. That means angle BAC is 30 degrees and angle CAD is 45 degrees. So angle BAD is going to be 30 degrees plus 45 degrees, which is 75 degrees. Next, by considering triangle ABD, show that BD squared is Okay, so in triangle, in triangle ABD, uh, if we use a cosine rule, we have, so if you have BD right here, ABD. So BD squared equals AB squared plus AD squared minus 2 times AB times AD times cosine of the angle that's opposing side BD, so that's cosine BAD. So using substitutions, based on what we know, we know AB is going to be root 3R, so root 3R squared plus. So if you want to find the length of side AD, we know that um, AD squared plus DC squared is going to give 2R squared. So since AD is equal to DC, we know that 2AD squared is going to equal 4R squared. So AD is going to be root 2R. This is using Pythagoras. Or we can use a 45, 45, 90 triangle relationship to show that this is 1 to 1 to root 2. So if this is 2r, this should be root 2r to root 2r to 2r. So we have root 2r squared minus 2 times root 3r times root 2r times cosine 75 degrees. And since we just said cosine 75 is q, we're just going to change this as this is 3r squared plus 2r squared minus 2 root 6 r squared and q. So we have shown the relationship for ci. Next, moving to cii, we're now considering triangle cbd. So in triangle cbd, uh, we can use the cosine rule again. So use cosine rule to show BD squared equals, this time it's CB squared plus CD squared. Minus two times CB times CD 
times cosine the angle opposing BD, so that's BCD. So we know that CB is going to be R. R squared plus CD is going to be root 2R, so root 2R squared minus 2 times R times root 2R times cosine BCD. So we know that BCD is 105 degrees. Cosine 105 degrees, which he found in A to be minus Q. So this is 3R squared minus 2 root 2R squared and minus Q, which is 3R squared plus 2 root 2 R squared Q. So this is the other relationship and using using ci and c2 so we're trying to find the equation for cosine 75 degrees or q so we set um, this expression equal to this one so bd squared equals all oh right so this is 5r squared minus 2 root 6 r squared q so this is 5r squared minus 2 root 6 r squared q which equals 3r squared plus 2r, 2 root 2, r squared q. So, um, that means 2r squared equals 2 root 2 plus 2 root 6, r squared q. Uh, we simplify by dividing uh, 2r squared on both sides, so we have 1 over root 2 plus root 6 times q. So q is going to be 1 over root 2 plus root 6. Or hence, cos 75 degrees is 1 over root 2 plus root 6.